Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Daily Devotional. So I'm glad we can start it back up. Our thought today is going to come from Revelation chapter 4. Uh, it's just a short thought today, and uh, I think it's important that we are constantly reminded that when we pray, that we don't just think about the content of our prayers in terms of of obviously thanking God for the blessings that we have and, and certainly to uh, acknowledge his power and his authority and so forth. And, uh, and obviously we have requests when we pray, but it's important to approach prayer with the right perspective uh, and the right mindset. And Revelation 4 always helps me uh, reminds me of who it is exactly or to whom it is I am praying and it's important because having the proper perspective reminds us to have the proper humility and the proper attitude when we approach Jehovah the God of the universe the the creator of all things and we've actually talked about Revelation 4 in in past day of the devotionals but I I don't think this is something that ever can or should get old. Starting Revelation 4 verse 1, After these things I looked, John did, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet, speaking with me, saying, Come up here and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. He who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance. There was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and on the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes, in front and in back. Verse 7 and 8 it describes kind of what these creatures look like. And we're told that these four living creatures having six wings full of eyes, they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And then uh, the 24 elders, they, they cast their, their thrones before Jehovah. They worship him who lives forever and ever cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Now, obviously, Revelation 4, there's a, there's a whole lot of, of uh, imagery here that is difficult for us to picture. But to imagine what this throne of the creator of the universe must have looked like for John. Okay, now I'm not saying that. It, it notice it was like a jasper and a stardius stone, uh, talking about Jehovah who sat on the throne. Uh, and the, it was a rainbow in appearance like an emerald. And we have the uh, sea of glass, and it, it, all this imagery that's being described here certainly shows the majesty, the glory. But Notice verse 5, and this is something that has always stood out to me. From the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. And just the to picture the fact of how busy Jehovah is. To, to, to imagine, just, I mean, to, to run the universe. To run all of creation. And of course, he has set in effect all of the, the laws and rules by which nature runs. But even still, he has not only all of creation that he's taken care of, but also all almost 8 billion people on this earth that he is watching. And that he is aware of everything that we say and do and think. And... All of his people, and I won't even venture a guess as to how many of his people exist on earth, but certainly at least thousands and thousands of people. And he hears them every, every prayer they offer. He hears them individually. And he takes time, as, and the Lord takes time to, to uh, 
intercede for us when we pray, and Jehovah takes time to hear each and every prayer. As Peter tells us in 1 Peter 5 or 7, he cares for you. And just to kind of remember this when we approach God in prayer, I always try to, before I, I offer up my prayer, before I even say, Dear Father in Heaven, I kind of picture myself bowing on the ground to before this throne in heaven. Because it's to his throne that we come. That, that is, the Hebrew writer in Hebrews uh, chapter uh, 10, or I'm sorry, yeah, Hebrews chapter 10, discusses drawing near to the Father, drawing near to the throne of God. And this is to, this, it is to this that we draw near. And having that proper perspective helps me, at least, to, to keep in mind, not, not to be arrogant, not to be like the Pharisee who was saying, Lord, thank you, I'm not like all these other people, and, and uh, I fast all these, uh, fast all these days, and I, I, I give of my, my means and so forth, but to remember to be like that, that publican who, who beat his chest saying, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Just the, the remembering that who it is that I'm approaching when I pray is uh, helps me when, when I, uh, no matter what the, the purpose of the prayer is, whether it's to thank God for a beautiful day that he, he's given me of life at the end of a day, to, to thank him for all the blessings of the day, or when I have requests or worries or cares or concerns, remembering that this is Jehovah of the, the, the creator of the universe and what his throne is like in heaven. It just provides that that imagery that reminds me that God cares for me. If he's taking his time out to listen to what I have to say, I need to be properly humble. All right, that's the devotional for you today. Lord willing, our next devotional will be on Monday. Uh, next week, Monday and Tuesday, will be our days for devotionals. Thursday and Friday, I am I currently planning to be out of town, so we may not have devotionals Thursday and Friday. I'll, I'll uh, kind of set that uh, in, be more sure of that starting next week. But uh, that's the plan right now. So Lord willing, I'll see you on Monday. Thank you, everybody.